afternoon. My name is Scott Rudd, the Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看今天的直击美股，我是主持人张叔，在纽约向您问好。周四的股市几乎没有太多的变化，与昨天收市的时候是几乎保持持平的。但是我们看到今天市场是受到两个重要因素的影响，首先就是原油的上涨，其次就是英国央行决定维持利率下降到百分之零点二五的区间，这也是意味着这个轻松的钱也是尽快的会进入到股市。那另外一方面呢，我们还看到今天一系列的经济数据发布，其中就包括了上周的首申失业金申领人数是比预期的多了一些，但是工厂的订单是下降的。比预期要更少，因此这也是提振了市场。但是总的来说，我们看到今天的市场情绪依然是比较谨慎的，原因是在明天早上的八点半将会公布最新的一个就业报告，而这份数字对于美联储加息会有一个非常决定性的作用。好的，更多消息让我们来听一下今天的交易员访谈。Hi Scott, your stocks are flat today, and despite the easy money from、um, Bank of England and also oil is up. But today, I think、um, the market is a little bit cautious because we are going to have this job data and job report tomorrow. So, how do you think about the move? You know, as flat as we are, I thought it was more constructive and、mm -hmm. actually more bullish than it looked by the indices. Okay. What I mean is, you know, you had last、uh, Tuesday or the Tuesday of this week, it looked as if this range was going to break to the downside. But the 21-day moving average held, so the S&P range we're in just widened a little bit. So let's go to the chart of the SPX. If you look here, you will see that you know this two-year range we've been talking about that we went above. Okay, it, we still didn't even retest that, so that would actually be healthy. But short term, we were talking about you know what's going on here. So on Tuesday we broke below, but then we held the 21-day moving average. So let's take a closer look because we trade on a micro basis and we want to make cash flow every day and try net money. So all in all, if you take a look here, you will see that you know. Let's get a better little picture here, so you guys could see it. Here it is.、Um, we, we we held in there. You know, held the 21 day, came back into the middle end of the range. What I want everyone to do now is erase this, take this off. This is not the range anymore. Okay, the range has gotten wide.、Um, you go to delete. Now you'll draw it like this. This is your low for tomorrow. Okay, here is your low. This was 21.47. The only way I think we test this low. Is with a print less than 80,000 jobs. So hopefully we get it in line. If we get a 170, 180, 190, maybe we retest this. But who knows if we'll have enough juice to get over it. So here is your range, and I would say in, in, at this point we're still constructive on the market. And tech sector is like best performing sector overall. And、uh, today I know that you have a lot of good trades out there. For example, your position in Apple and Twitter. So how do you think about these two、um, stocks? And also speaking of Baba, it has it's、uh, like the earnings to expect in the next week. So how do you handle your positions? Well, first of all, I'm going to see what happens tomorrow, and、mm -hmm. then I'll figure out what I'm going to do for next week because、mm -hmm. I am going on vacation. So everyone watching this, Red Dog is gone next week. I'm off in Mexico, Cancun. Going to be off. There's going to be no videos by me, so I have to figure out how I can maybe be an investor with swing positions, not actively managing it every day like I normally do. So, like you said, the Qs are holding up really well. The Qs, in my opinion, look at this. It held the eight-day moving average.、It、didn't even get down to the 21-day, so that's healthy. Apple. I'm still in the options that we talked about a week ago. When did I get involved in these options? You know what? Annabelle and I went over it. You could have bought it at the same time. They're already up well over 60%. Right here, okay. Right after the earnings gap. So at this point, I still think Apple's good. I'm going to hold my Apple calls no matter what happens. I think we see 112. Facebook finally did a little reversal today. You know, strong trend. They sold it off on earnings. I'm in a little bit into tomorrow. We'll see what happens. You now have this low to trade against. It turned up. Okay, Amazon also been a little lethargic. It also turned up. Everyone's like, what's a red dog reversal? Well, it did one today. Went below the eight-day moving average. Came back. It was strong. Let's see if that could build. And lastly, you, you asked me about Baba.、Um, I'm in the stock. You know, we talked about the pattern here in Baba. The pattern here has been really good. It traded above. Oops, sorry. Hold on. It traded above this 80. Okay, which is when I bought the calls. And believe it or not, right around here, I bought more calls because I do think that overall, let's hope that they deliver on earnings.、It、would be very disappointing if it doesn't. I think that this long-term bullish pattern has been under accumulation. Okay, you can look at it right here, holding higher. And at some point, let's see if it's this report. I think it takes out this 85, and I wouldn't be surprised at some point in 2016 if this gets near 95. 
Oil is up today. On the contrary, energy sector shows some weakness. So why we keep seeing this kind of gap during these two and three sessions? Well, it's trying to find the low. Mm -hmm. If you remember this morning in the Morning Call Express, we talked about if the market buys oil in the mm -hmm. hole, it'll be very constructive because mm -hmm. we had a reversal yesterday. So guys like me went home long oil hoping for upside follow through. We didn't get it. We got downside follow through, but not like Friday into Monday. It held in there and reversed. So if yesterday's low of 39 is the low in oil, it's going to be hard for the bears to get any traction. If you want to take a quick look at the USO before we end this, you will see that, yes, um, we broke this uh, uptrend, okay, from the, more, from the lows um, of, the, of this year, right here, okay? But now we have a small little bottom formation that gave you two up days, and now we'll see if we could maybe get back up to this spot. And overall, it was a good targeted trade, nice down open, little follow through, and we'll see if we can get to there. But overall, again, if this is the low of the move in oil, you know, it's going to be hard for the, the bears to be pounding their chest. Okay, that's all we have for today. And we will have more tomorrow. And, um, well, <laughs> I next, won't have more tomorrow. <laughs> but actually, next week I'm out. Yeah. And Annabelle won't be here. But we will reconvene the week after, and we will be here connecting the docs for you every single day in the fall. So make sure to come in, rest up this summer, and you know, get your profitable hats on because we're here to help you uh, make some money and keep you safe.